Hello guys, this is the Polyglot Programmer and today we're going to talk about enums, what they are and how to use them on GT Script. Right, so enums, what is an enum? Enum is short for enumeration, right? And an enum is basically a way for you to define a set of constants that represent numerical values. That's, that's pretty much it. Uh, and I'm going to show you with some code snippets, right? So for one, you have this type of declaration. This is a global enum, right? So this is pretty much the same as declaring four constants here. As any, and you can see here that they're actually complaining that they have the same name, right? Um, because if I use print left here, well, if I use print left here, I'm gonna get zero. It doesn't matter if it's declared like this or like this, right? So I'm gonna comment this out because it's complaining i don't want him to be complaining about right just so just just to show you guys i'm gonna actually run this code and you're gonna see here zero it printed here to the console right great perfect um and we also have uh local uh uh enum declarations meaning that we're actually defining a type uh enum type in this case called move set and each and inside that enum type we have four different constants in this case is <clears throat> in this case is the same here is uh complaining because i cannot do this outside of a function but if i do this and let's say now that if i print um, move set dot left let's see what's gonna give me he also gives me zero so i think you guys probably noticed by now that an enum always starts from zero and onwards it doesn't matter if you do it like this it doesn't matter if you do it like this right but let's look at some other cases let's let's create a couple of cases that are a bit more specific where you can use enums and one of these cases is actually for it's one very common case that you have in, have on games is on a state machine right so for example instead of using um strings for states which is not a very good practice you can actually define uh, an enum type which is called state and has th these uh three types or whatever whatever states you have in your game it doesn't matter right and then you define a variable of the type state right great so how is this useful like right so for example right now if i print my state what do we what do you think i'm gonna get here right i'm not i don't need to stringify this stuff this guy so what do you think i'm gonna get i'm gonna get a zero because the default value for a nina is always the first option right so this is one okay next let's update the our state so we started on not started and now we're moved to in progress based on some game logic that you may have in your game it could be a timer it could be the player clicked a button or something right and now if we use the match statement in godot which could also be an if statement if my state equals this else if my state my state equals this else if my state equals this this is basically the same thing it's just I think it's a more friendly way to write it um what do you think we're gonna get here let's find out we get in progress awesome because why because we set this to in progress right here if i go back if i hey say hey no this is, this is actually not started right so I'll get not started over there awesome perfect right um, now let's try to print this state size just to see what happens three so state size so it's it's pretty much like an array right so it's a list at the end of the day and it gives you the um, the size of that that list in this case size of options in that list over here it's another code snippet <coughs> where you can actually get the key right so to refer to a specific 
uh, option of an enum, you need the key. The key is actually the index, just like you would have on a list, right? And you can see this here on this for loop, I'm iterating over the size. So this, is go this goes by zero, one, and two, right? And I'm printing the, um, the value referred to that key. And if I run this again, you see that it's gonna print not started, in progress done, because this is what we refer. This is zero, this is one, this is two, right? And here, just to show you guys that we can also check the value of the state by using a NIF statement, right? It's basically the same thing that we're doing up here. We're doing with a NIF state, if statement. Um, you can see that we have here we printed not started, and now we're printing not started yet because this is what we defined that we wanted. And that's pretty much it. This is as simple as it, get, as it gets with a NINAM. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips like this. I plan to do a lot more stuff on GD Script because I really feel the internet is lacking that. And see you next time. Cheers.